on board. This is week 10 of Blitz. We have two weeks remaining. Um, tonight we have Ed Golden, six star Golden Circle, Drew Berman, five star Golden Circle, Isogenics Millionaire. And they're going to be talking with us about better focus, creating a consistent game plan and daily method of operation. And this is very important, guys. We have two months left of the year, two months left. And um, I posted tonight in my um, leaders group, in my business group, um, something really important because in your own business, you've got to keep records, right? You've got to know your stats. You've got to know how far you've come, what you've done and where you're going. So every week I put the amount of enrollments and my salary into an Excel file. Every month I tally that total and I compare it to the previous month. Um, so, and then from the previous month, I compare it to the last quarter. And speaking with leaders like Lisa DeMeo and Susan Sly, they know their numbers. They do the same thing. And basically the goal is to be better this year, this quarter, this month than the previous, than the previous quarter, the previous month. And what I would tell you guys and encourage you is um, here's the thing. No matter what level you are in your business, you have to have goals or else you are going to be stagnant. Um, if you have no goals, you don't know what you're shooting for. It would be like me saying, you know what, Ed, tomorrow you're going to run, right? You can't just run. You've got to help somebody get prepared. That's why they have the couch to 5K. That's why they have small little challenges to help push you to your big one. But if you don't have a goal, you don't know what you're shooting for. So tomorrow I begin my 20 and 30, and my goal is to end 2017 with better, greater, stronger numbers than I had in 2016. And what I would encourage you all tonight is really think of how Jim and Kathy show up in their business. Think of how Susan Sly shows up in her business. Think of what all the great leaders are doing, and that's how you have to treat your business, especially with two weeks left of Blitz, eight weeks remaining to, the, to 2017. And whether you end your year $1,000 higher, $10,000, or $100,000 higher, the beauty here is, is that it's 100% up to you. You are the boss of this business. And there's a great quote that I love so much, and I'm going to put it up in our group. And it says, today I will do what others won't, so tomorrow I can do the things that others can't. And with that, I'm very proud and very honored to introduce both Drew Berman and Ed Golden, two gentlemen in our field that I just love, respect, and admire so much. So please take out your pens, take out your, your papers, and let's get ready to rock and roll tonight. Awesome, Angela. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, I just learned a PhD lesson from you just now. I mean, you said three things that like kind of gave me chills. One was be the boss of your own business. And it reminds me that we have to be the best employee of our own business. So we get to um, a lot of people crave this type of business and business model, business structure, because yeah, that's true. You get to be your own boss, but you also have to be your best employee. If you get to look in the mirror and look at your boss and you'd be like, do you get yourself a raise or do you get, do you get fired? Literally, if this were, you know, uh, a job or a business. And that's why I love working with Ed and Angela, because you guys, you lead the way, lead by example. The other thing she said is track your numbers. I mean, what a brilliant, you know, yet simple thing. The things you can track are your personal enrollments, right? That's an easy thing for you to track. And for those of you that are just getting up to speed and you're not even enrolling a lot, you can track your personal presentations. And that's very, very, very telling. Once you start tracking your presentations, that's something that you can super, you can absolutely control. And then another thing you talked about running and I learned so much, Angela, about running and this business. I took up, I literally took up running. 
right? And uh, I didn't have time. I'm busy. I run a business. I got a family. I got two kids. I got lots of sports hobbies that I do. I got a social life. And I'm running, you know, isogenics business. And all of a sudden, I took up running. Well, guess what? You go for a mile and you got some aches and pains. Go for two miles and you got some aches and pains. And then you're like doubting. You're going into doubt mode, right? And then I finally got up to a 5K. And from that 5K, I realized, oh, this takes, this takes some time and effort. So now I'm, I'm, I'm running a half hour a day. Now I'm running an hour a day. Then I start creeping up to three, five, eight, ten 10 miles. I start doing different types of stretching. I start learning a little bit more about nutrition. Then you show up at a 5K and everyone's dressed the same, right? Shorts, sneakers, and a t-shirt. And someone could be, this will be the world championship. They're doing a 5K for the first time. And someone could have done 500 of them. And they're training for a marathon. But you're right next to each other. Same thing in this business. And what happened for me was it was very humbling because I'm a pretty good athlete. I was in pretty good shape. I had prepared pretty good for this, uh, for this event. And then within minutes, I was last, dead last. And it was a little hard on my ego, right? But then I realized, oh, I'm just brand new. I'm just starting this game. So sometimes it takes people in network marketing and isogenics years to get these skill sets. What's so awesome is I'm looking at me as Batman, Ed as Batman, and then on my little iPhone, out of the hundreds of people that are on this call, I'm looking at my teammate, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. You're the, you're the, we're the, and I see Jen Levin as well. So those are the four people I see on my screen. And Jenny, brand new, just put in eight people in October, her first month which is extraordinary, right? That's awesome. We broke a crystal manager um, just 10 minutes ago. So Ed, I've got, I've got a quick Batman story, and then I'll pass it on to you. When I was with Amway many, many years ago, I was with Amway from 2001 to 2015, and there was a single good-looking um, guy named Dean, Dean Kosegi, and there were about 15,000 people at this event, and he was talking about his day job. He was working in, you know, um, advertising and film and he, he had some creative projects but he also said he's like but at night I go out and show the plan he's like and what's interesting is you go out and show the plan every night you go out and show the plan every night you go out and draw the circles draw the circles show the presentation show the presentation you're really not selling these people you're serving these people and he's like I, he's, and he said from stage he's like and now I kind of feel like a superhero He's like, I come to this 15,000 person arena. I walk backstage. I'm on stage. I feel like I'm Batman because every, every night I go out and save the people, go out and help the people, go out and help the people, just like Batman does. He's like, yes, I'm an Amway Diamond, but I'm really Batman. So tonight me and Ed are Batman because uh, we're going to bring our capes and our superpowers to really empower you um, because we've learned some skills and we're going to share them. So Ed, what's on your heart, man? One, you have a cool costume. <laughs> um, two, you know, Drew and I talked earlier, and, and you know, I want, one thing I want to, you know, tell you guys is, like, it, we're just blessed with, um, you know, the company and people like Drew and everything Angela does and the Dunskys and Laura and you guys and, you know, watching some of your bands and the splits. Um, you know, and one of the things that, uh, you know, when I first met Drew, and it sticks to my mind every day, is, you know, I used to be afraid to tell people, what do I do, right? They're like, what do you do? I help people lose weight or, you know, I, I don't, I, I can never say anything, um, you know, comfortably, you know, when I was first starting out. And then I, when I met Drew, he, he said, I'm a network marketer. I'm a career network marketer. And, you know, that that really kind of stuck in my head because, that's actually a career. <laughs> you do people do this stuff for a living, network marketing, and it blew my mind that you know this, this actually can be a job. When I first met Drew, you know I was still working my other job and I was just starting um, to grow my business in isogenics. And I think that's really important for you guys, um, especially on this topic, is your belief and understanding that this is a career that people really do this, um, you know, day in and day out. Um, not just not just the millionaires or the ones making multiple six figures. Remember, we all start in the same place. We all start at that tree, the top of that tree with zero people, right? We all start in the same place. And so 
Um, you know, one of the things I learned from Shu is don't be afraid to say what you are, what you're doing. You know, you're a network marketer. You know, have any of you ever been asked what you do and, and been stuck? You know, just not know what to say, Jennifer. Um, you know, it, 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 it was such a relief to me to be able to say that I'm a network marketer. And then talking about the company, um, you know, if you guys don't know Drew's story, you know, he, he just talked about Amway, but when he came to um, Isogenics, he had reached out to Kathy Cooper and asked her to look at, at the tree. Um, and, and he could share more about that story. And that meant a lot to somebody that's coming from corporate America and also from, you know, I worked for a federal government agency. There was never support going up the chain, right? If you did good, you know, is somebody else would try and take credit or you're jeopardizing someone else's job. You know, so when, when Drew shared the story that he actually talked to the founder of the company to see where he kind of stands and if he's going to be okay with isogenics, um, just to hear that was refreshing. Because you don't, and, and you know, I was also um, struggling at that point to understand, you know, the concept of network marketing. How does this all word Work. Why are people telling me I'm part of a pyramid scheme? You know, what does that mean? You know, it, it was all new to me. So it's amazing to be in a company like Isogenics and understand, um, you know, that you guys are network marketers, right? In the morning, you wake up, whether you have another job, whether this is your full time job, whether you're just starting. No, you're, you are now a network marketer. You're on this call and be, be proud of that. Be happy to say that. Because if you put that belief in your head, when you have your conversations to your people, either about the, the weight loss or the energy or the, or the, um, you know, the wealth creation, whatever you're talking to them about it, it just comes natural. You don't have to sit there and think what you're doing. And obviously, the more conversations you have like that, um, the more organic you're going to sound. So I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to touch on that real quick, Trix, because to me, that's, that's really important. I think that's important, especially in today's day and age. I think, you know, I'm in, I'm 45 and um, I think people our age and older still have some kind of um, stigma around the profession of network marketing. It is a profession. Mm -hmm. I think our age and younger tend to be, and these are stereotypes of course, but they tend to be more open and, you know, Network marketing is becoming a, a quite a hip culture. It's quite a hip um, community. Uh, it's becoming quite a, uh, a hip business model. It used to be just for stay-at-home moms to do part-time on the side. I just I saw the transgression, transgression of my business. I just realized I'm in 11 years. Um, I, I started with weight loss. It was really just all about weight loss for us. And I was attracting a lot of chiropractors. I see my friends Ina and Glenn uh, on this call who do so much for uh, for this company and I uh, love you guys. And, um, you know, I was turning on a lot of chiropractors and then I was turning on a lot of health um, uh, health coaches. I, I, uh, there's a, the, the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. I have my first conversation with someone and uh, they were from... IIN, they were holistic health counselors. And Isogenics Incorporated and the, got the Arizona, they had never heard of holistic health counselors. So I brought in a couple and almost 100% of them said, no, I don't do shakes. I do, you know, green, algae, nuts type of thing. And then one by one, they started looking and peeling the onion off and peeling the layers. And they started realizing that what we teach is what they taught. So I had a background in business, Ed, where I was actually working with doctors in advertising i was going to advertising companies and helping them advertise their business wow. and I lawyers doctors dentists chiropractors none of them learn business in school so all of a sudden they're a chiropractor but they don't know how to run a chiropractic business so i started learning concepts about business and when isogenics came into my life i mean it's been awesome and, and i do Two lessons I learned just in my own life about our business. And uh, Angela was talking about goals and vision. And you got to know where you're going and what your plan is. So I've been a little, to be honest, planless over the last couple months. Um, I, because of Isogenics, uh, we have 
a nice residual income. My wife sold her business, so we had uh, another stream of income that came in. And with my wife selling her business, we actually planned a lot of the summer. I traveled a lot of this summer. Started with Angela in uh, Banff at Top Achievers. And then from Banff, I was, at, I was at Fire Island. Then we went to Greece and Israel. Then I went to Orlando and Vegas. And then we went to Cape Cod. Um, so we actually, I actually really did really work um, from like, you know, maybe uh, Memorial Day through Labor Day. And Ed and I are going to, Ed's going to talk about um, how he keeps a pulse on his business. So, because that's important, how to have a, a, a daily pulse on what's going on. But when I came back, I was kind of visionless. I didn't really have my vision of really where I wanted to go. And I had realized, consciously or unconsciously, that my actual vision board at my office was on the floor. And a couple of things that were on the vision board weren't really relevant anymore. And it was on its side. So I realized just this week, like I moved my office and my vision board didn't give didn't get the proper love that it needed. So over the last couple of weeks and months, I've kind of haven't been having a real goal. I haven't had the vision board up. <clears throat> and I remember when I won the, uh, the top achievers trip and when I won the trip to the Bahamas uh, with Isogenics, that was a, game, a life changer for me because then my wife got to hear from corporate staff about the vision of Isogenics and, and how people, you know, they believed that um, a lot of people quit their jobs for Isogenics and a lot of people have their mortgages based on Isogenics and that it's going to be here for a long time. So I had that on my vision board that I was going to go to the Bahamas. I printed it up and I won. I won the trip. So just last week, we bought a 1,000 piece puzzle. So they didn't see anything conclusive? Can you guys hear me? Can you, can you hear me? Now we can, yes. Okay, good. Now you're back. Okay, what was the last thing, you, Ed, you heard me say? You wanted to go to the Bahamas. Oh, right. So I put the picture up on the Bahamas, and I, I actually won. So Angela started the call with, you got to know where you're going. you got to have a vision and a picture of where you're going. Otherwise, you don't know what you're really doing. So we bought this thousand-piece puzzle, and I dumped it on my kitchen table, and at first, it's a little overwhelming kind of like my life in isogenics. I was like, oh my God, I have, I have my new people. I have recruiting. I have prospecting. I have training. I have leadership development. I have rank advancement. I have to go to events and Zoom calls. So like, it feels like it could be a, a bit of a mess. But then what I start to do is I put around the perimeter of the puzzle. And that took a couple of days, right? And then it had a foundation. So in isogenics, it's what your, what's your foundation? Well, your foundation is your core four events. But it, it goes by a gradient because not everyone's going to fly out to, to Vegas or to Arizona, right? So in my book, I talk about the gradient. Like first it's a, hey, would you check out a quick three-minute video? Then it's like, okay, hey, can I introduce you to someone? And then it's like, hey, can you be on this half hour or one hour Zoom call? And then it's like, oh, can you come to a sip and sample or, a, or an evening or a, a taste? Then it's like, all right, can you dedicate a Saturday? I know you're busy. You're a busy mom. you got three kids. Can you just come to a Saturday and just come? You can't come for the whole thing. All right, just come for a couple of hours on a super Saturday. All right, you, find, you, you can, now you're starting to put together the pieces of the puzzle. Come to a super Saturday. From that super Saturday, you know they're going to hear about the bigger events, and that's when you can kind of create that. So as I started building this puzzle, every puzzle comes with the picture of what the end result should look like. And I'm like, wow, this is no perfect for isogenics and for network marketing. Some people are putting together the pieces of the puzzle and they don't even know what they're doing. So what Ed and I are going to talk about tonight is like some daily activities that you can do while looking at your vision as you put together the pieces of your puzzle with the end goal in mind. And guess what? We just finished the puzzle. It's beautiful. It looks like an art project. The colors are vibrant. It's three times or four times bigger than the cover of the puzzle and we actually built it and that's the actual philosophy about of, of life and this business so ed i mean i know you have some daily activities that uh that you keep a pulse of on your business uh as well as how you uh your your, your daily method of operation so what is a day in the life what is, as batman what do, what do you do 
Yeah. So, you know, from day one, um, you know, even when I wasn't doing this full time, I touched my isogenics business every single day, right? Every single day I started, I always had a list, right? My list started with a hundred people. Um, and, and you know, it, it, I always add to that list, but you know, guys, when I say touch my business every day, that doesn't mean I scroll through Facebook to see what's going on every day. It doesn't mean I just looked into our cleanse group or our business group. Um, that means I message somebody. That means I talk to somebody. That means I reached out to a teammate. That means I I had minimum one conversation. We all we, we all have bad days, bad weeks, bad months. You know, so sometimes it is just one conversation. Sometimes it's only three conversations. Some days it's ten conversations. But every single day, I touch my business. And the reason that's important is because this is not an eight hour a day job. Right. You know, I'm not like here to brag or anything, but I haven't worked more than a three hour day for probably three years. But I touch my business every day. So you got to have a running list. If you don't have a running list, you don't have a, a, a business. You have a hobby. OK. Every Sunday, I take people, five people from that list and put them on another list that says you will enroll this week. Right. And I know Monday morning. Those are the first five people I reach out to. First thing Monday morning, when I have a chance after my kids are gone, I reach out to those five people. Okay? I also spend a lot of time looking through my reports. If you have a, a team of over 50 or some people, you should be looking at your reports every single day. Okay? If you're a two-star leader and above, you have leadership reports. You can look at those also. But the rest of you, you have your... Blue, your business uh, blueprints, you have your categories, look at them. Look at who's one away from uh, uh, getting their complete essentials. Look who's one away from consultant, one away from manager. Look at those lists. They're going to help your business grow. You don't have to sit there and think about stuff. Everything is laid out for you. Okay? So daily activities. Always be in contact with somebody. Always see what's, what your team is doing. Always look at your list and always know who you're gonna reach out to, right? Guys, those things don't take more than 20 minutes. Very simple things. Know what you're gonna post that day. If it's Tuesday and you guys do Transformation Tuesday, remember you're doing Transformation Tuesday, right? If you wake up on Wednesday and you have no call schedule, you better schedule some calls. Find someone to talk to. They're everywhere. If you don't have anyone to talk to, walk around your office, go to the mall, go to a gas station, say hi to someone. Connect with someone. Right? When I say touch my business, I don't mean I'm enrolling someone every day. I'm connecting with someone new. I'm having a conversation. I'm working with someone on my team. If I have someone one away from manager or one away from consultant, let's, let's work with them. Let's talk to them. Let's show them how to get there. Right? If it's a promotional week, I message everyone that I've ever talked to. Hey, the promotion, are you ready to get started? You know, whatever it is, you know, we have to be in contact. We have to work our business every single day. Now, if you're new, right, or, or you're just starting out, when I first started, I told myself I'm working 30 minutes a day. My business was going to be touched for minimum 30 minutes every day, whether that was scheduling three-way calls whether that was uh, talking to somebody, whether that was working on my list, anything that is income producing activity, I committed to 30 minutes a day. Guys, you can find 30 minutes a day, every day. It's very easy, right? And, and as it started growing, went from 30 minutes to an hour, right? Because I, I started loving watching transformations. And so if I knew that if I'm spending 30 minutes a day in a week and I can enroll two people a week, if I make it an hour, I'm going to enroll four people, right? Just more conversations, more time put into it. So have a schedule. Know what you're going to do every day. Touch your business every single day. No excuses. Every time you say, I'm going to do that tomorrow, ask yourself why you're going to wait to do it tomorrow and just do it. Right? Uh, I, I used to do that all the time. Oh, I'll reach out to them tomorrow. Oh, I'll do this tomorrow. And I realized 
tomorrow, then it's tomorrow, then tomorrow, then tomorrow. Just do it. Really, really important. If you find yourself in that habit, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. Just do it. There's really no point in waiting. For every tomorrow or every next week, you're taking money out of your pocket. So every day, make sure you're doing it. You're in action somehow. It's all good stuff, Ed, and um, you know it's a great reminder. And also, the way you say it is uh, is so simple. And what Angela keeps saying is, tomorrow, well, you know, Wednesday starts the last two months of the year, November and December. A lot of people are going to fall asleep during the holidays and do nothing. You don't want to start. It's there in the law of physics. Um, the, it says what is in motion tends to stay in motion, mm-hmm. and what is at rest tends to stay at rest. So if you fall asleep during the holidays, certainly you're welcome to, but don't expect, uh, don't expect to have momentum going into the new year. You want to start planting the seeds now because those of you that, that understand what you sow, you shall reap. What you sow now, you will start to see the benefits come, come the holidays, come January. So our team is having a team push week, right, Tom? Yeah, yeah right man. <laughs> so, and, oh, by the way, Tom just went manager, which is super awesome. Uh, he's a super you. family guy, and he's got brothers and sisters and people from all over that are joining. So it's it's just awesome. And our team is doing a a, a push week, and Don and Robin Cermak uh, did a push week. Uh, Don's a uh, Isotopic millionaire. Don, uh, her sister, is uh, is a six star, and they did a interview on isogenicspodcast.com. So if you go to the wealth section under isogenics podcast and you scroll down about four or five, you'll see Don Cermak and it's called all you need is a little push. So I listened to that one day and I was like, Whoa, I said, that's what we're going to do because um, we've done six month blitzes. We've done 12 week uh, all out sprints. And uh, just like the running analogy that we talked about before, uh, this is a marathon. You don't want to burn yourself out. You want to pace yourself as you, as you build. However, we are going to do a one week sprint. So I also want to give you all permission, including, um, I mean, <laughs> Angela would be thrilled for, for Ed to, uh, to out earn her. She would, she would root him every step of the way. So one of the ladies on my team who's lovely and she shows up all the time and you know, she, she, she's, she's happy, but she's really just kind of a product user and refers it once in a while. But she's said yesterday on our call, she's like, it's time for me. I'm going to stand up and be the leader that I need to be. And I find that a lot of people are waiting for someone else to go first. They're waiting for their team captain. They're waiting for their, their upline support team. It doesn't work that way in this business. You have my permission. You have your upline permission. You have your spouse's permission. You have Kathy Coover's permission that if you want to, you can go faster than your upline support team. That's, this is designed to, to uh, reward um, effort. So don't wait for your, your leadership to tell you what to do. You start to live into the depth of what you want to create in your life. And I've realized that as a, as a leader, we sometimes will put a glass ceiling over our, our, our downline, our, over our team, because we've hit this level here, we start to mentor people here. So what you want to do is you want to mentor people up, right? You want to reach up to your upline support team and ask for help while you reach down to your, your, uh, your New York group so that your conversation and your language and your mindset is of what's going on upline. <clears throat> because if you're talking to people all day, every day that are cycling one to three times, then your mindset's going to be in the, oh, just get started. Oh, just do a 30 day. Oh, just cycle one to three times. But if you're talking on a regular basis and mentoring on a regular basis with people like Ed and people like Angela who are cycling, 50, 80, 100, 150, 200, 250 times per week, then your mindset and your language and your vocabulary and your vibration is is more in alignment. So most of you have an upline on up, and we don't even use those words on my team. We we call the upline team, we call 
uh, our support team. And the downline team, we call our success team. So Tom, who just went on manager, he's on my success team, and I'm part of his support team. So we, that's just the little bit of language we use. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm getting a little freaked out by Angela's mask, but I love it, and uh, it's all good. So um, Ed, what are your thoughts? I know one of your ninja superpowers, and this is something I think will help everybody. Um, you have uh, this master skill of helping people say yes to the product and then going consult it. And what's that art? How do you, how do you move that person from, yes, I want to lose weight, to, oh, I can – Go consult it. What does that mean, and how does it work? Yeah, well, so you know, kind of all started, you know, and you you talked about it. Angela would love if I could, you know, out earn her or out rank her. The problem is I can't out enroll her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, she she's knocking out twenty and thirties over and over, and I don't know why she just won't do a forty and thirty. Maybe she's scared. I don't know. So it's a challenge. Okay. So and I in think, all fairness, I haven't figured out how to pop an e-shot through the mask. <laughs> that, that I can't figure out. <laughs> so, you know, if, I figured if I can't out-enroll her, well, I can match the people, right? Because our compensation plan is you share, they share, repeat. So, you know, I started making consultants, uh, not just my personal enrolled, but throughout my organization. That's important too, guys. It's not just about who you enroll. We get the volume 100% up and down, right? You know, I think my, my organization is working 12 to 16 levels deep. I'll reach down there. I get the same volume as if I enroll that person. So um, when I enroll a person, I can, you know, it, when I used to enroll a person, I'd hang up the phone, I'd get really excited. Now, once I get their information, and you know the back office tells me congratulations. I congratulate them, right? I say I'm so happy for you. Congratulations! Hey, by the way, what two people would you like to do the program with? Right? Not let's go make some money. Do you want to start a business? What two people are you going to start the program with? Right? And guys, I'm going to make this so simple for you. And and, and once you realize how simple it is, you're going to turn around and next week knock out consultants. Um, now, most of the time they're going to say, oh, if, if, uh, you know, if I have results, well, my sister or so-and-so will do it. Perfect. Make sure you write down those names or who that person is. Right? They say sister, write down sister. Because when, you know, they get their box, right, a couple of days later, they're going to get their box and go through the first five days. And we're going to ask them again say, hey, you're getting ready to start. Have you thought about somebody that you're going to do this with? More than likely, they're going to say the same people. Or sometimes they'll say, yes, yeah, so-and-so is waiting to see my results. I told them I ordered or this or, or my whatever it is. Write down those people's names. Hey, five, we're going to call them to go over their cleanse days. How are your first five days? Guys, you know isogenics products work, right? So they're going to have results in the first five days. 99% of the people have results. Either they lost three pounds, they're sleeping better, they have more energy, whatever it is. Great. You're going to cleanse the next two days. You're going to feel even better. Let's talk to so-and-so. Those two people's names they gave you, say, can we talk to them uh, tomorrow or, or after they cleanse, whatever. Schedule the call with those two people. So I'm going to show you how to get half of your program paid for before you're even finished your first week. Think about what you guys just did there, right? They have results. When people are happy with the results, they'll do almost anything you ask them, okay? Now, if they turn around and say, okay, let me see when they're available, great. If they turn around and say, maybe we can talk to so-and-so tomorrow, and say, hey, would you be open to just posting on Facebook? your results for the first five days, and then be quiet, right? That's the most important part, shut up. Let them answer, because sometimes we, we out-talk ourselves, right? Now again, if somebody's excited and they're happy about their results, and you just told them in two more days they're gonna even feel better with more results, they're open to doing almost anything. And that's how it all starts. Right? I haven't asked anybody to sell anything. I haven't asked anybody to make any money. I haven't asked anybody to start a business. 
right? I simply said, you, you lost three pounds in your first five days, congratulations. Does your sister want to lose three pounds in five days? Right? So that, that's how, you know, we go about making consultants. Um, and the most important part, don't stop there, right? Because guys, when you can make crystal managers in your organization, right, that means that they're getting paid twice what they spent for their program, right? And after 30 days, they feel amazing. They have results and they've made money. They're keepers. So it's your responsibility, one, to make sure that you're getting on three-way calls with their people and then the people they enroll and develop a, a, uh, a, um, a system, what you do, they do, right? Be duplicatable. If you teach people to do three-way calls, they'll teach people to do three-way calls. And that's the beauty of residual income. Drew traveled most of this year and still made a ton of money. That's residual income because he taught people to do what he was doing, right? But keep it simple. Remember, not everybody's like you, right? Not everybody's like Angela, a, a master enroller, like Drew, you know, um, a, a, like Dr. Ina. You know, I've heard her speak, and she's amazing. And her husband, they did a great show uh, for us at ICU. Not everybody's going to be like that or like you or like me. So if we give them a simple process, they can teach it. And now you have a business, right? Remember, every successful business is one that runs on its own. If I may interject and just say something that Ed Golden is spectacular at is reaching out to people. He never asks if the person is on the left side. He never asks if the person is on the right side. The minute the name comes up in the isopoles, Ed Golden is immediately sending them a message and congratulating them and saying, um, just want to congratulate. He never says, I'm your upline, I'm your coach. He doesn't use this type of terminology. He always says, congratulations on your enrollment. We do have a few minutes to chat. I would love to offer some support. And he does this with everyone in the member solution reports, he does it with everyone in the ISOPOS. And this is something that he's been doing for almost four years, is reaching down. And a lot of the people that he's working with and assisting and creating so many successes, guess what? They're not even his personally enrolled. But as he explained, as per the volume, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the person is five underneath you or 55. You benefit just the same. So pay attention to those reports. Pay attention to your isopulse and start reaching out. People often have this attitude where, oh, Michelle enrolled her. She's not mine. Yes, she is yours. They're all yours. If they're in your tree, they're all yours. And honestly, nobody's going to do what you do, right? So let's say Tom in, signed up two people, and then those two people signed two people. I guarantee that the two people that signed the two people, they're not as good as Tom. Not yet. They don't have the experience. They don't have the knowledge. They don't know what Tom knows. But guess whose responsibility it is to help the four newbies? It's Tom's. Yeah. And if Tom does a great enough job helping the two that found two, guess what? They'll find another two. And now instead of two levels, Tom's got three levels. You don't, I mean, leave your ego at the door. T take your jacket off and hang it up and leave it at the front door. Your job is to roll up your sleeves and help every single person in your tree. Susan Sly has so many champions that are not directly under her. They're not directly under her. They could be four levels, eight levels, and it doesn't matter. They will still help you max out your business center. Don't think somebody else is going to do it. And maybe they are, or maybe they're not, but what, what harm would it do for you to reach out and say, Hey, um, this is Tom. I'm, I'm Wendy's, um, coach and i just wanted to reach out and tell you how well you're doing i see you posting in the group and i just want to celebrate you 
I just want to offer five minutes of, of my time so I can get to know you. Get to know them. Talk with them. Maybe they will find that they have more in common with you than their coach. doesn't matter who's helping them as long as somebody's helping them. And even though Ed was not a strong enroller, he has an incredible, incredible gift for finding golden nuggets in his tree. Ellen Brensel, five-star golden circle, is not his personally enrolled. So many people, so many stars, numerous star people are not directly his, but because he reached out and worked with them and loved on them and supported them, they grew because of him. I mean, that, this is a really big point that I want you guys to take away from this call. They don't have to be yours for you to roll up your sleeves and just offer support. That's it. Yeah, That's it, awesome, it, Angela. And in Tom's case, um, I've been around 11 years. Uh, I, I was up, invited to a retreat in Connecticut. I went in there and uh, signed up this woman who was a holistic health counselor. Uh, she signed up. Her name was Marianne. She signed up her daughter, Jen. Jen was fearful of this business for three years, but as a fitness instructor, she loved it. She signed up her friend Haley from a Zumba class. Um, Haley signed up her friend from college, Megan. And then Megan signed up her dad kind of as a favor. Tom said, yes, I'll do it. And then he came to Vegas. And now he just went manager. So he's probably, I guess, if, if we really figured it out for everyone to kind of hear how this kind of works, um, I enrolled Doug, Doug enrolled Steve, Steve enrolled Marianne, Marianne enrolled Jen, Jen enrolled Haley, Haley enrolled Megan, Megan enrolled Tom. Tom would be like eight levels deep. In some network marketing companies, you get cut off at six. But Tom and I have kismet. We went to a concert in Vegas and we saw The Who, we rocked out. <clears throat> and now we're buds and we're working together and I treat him like he's my, my own. Same thing with Jenny. Jenny um, just posted, you'll, you'll love this. I'm going to tell her your post, Jenny, because it was brilliant. She's like, in two, we in two days, you'll uh, feel it. In two weeks, you'll see it. And in four weeks, you'll hear it. So she's like, I started getting compliments on my weight loss. She's like, I didn't do it for the compliments, but boy, does it feel good. And she posted it. She got 12 likes, 12 comments, 26 likes, and 126 views. And she is not my personally enrolled. She's not the guy I personally enrolled. She's like three or four PET to me. That means four personally enrolled team. And she put in eight people in October. I didn't put in eight people in October in her organization. She put in eight people into the organization. And I'm sure she'll break 10 um, this month and next month. So everything I'm learning from Ed and Angela, I'm implementing into, into the group. And uh, I have a joke. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, Angela. But I tell people all we require is one referral per pound you lose. Is that a good joke, Angela? I like it. <laughs> so, Ed, um, coming down to the, the top of the hour, what else can we gift these people tonight? Um, you know, just get into the mindset that this is your business, right? It, you know, whether it was, you open a restaurant or a retail store, whatever it is, it's your business. You touch it every single day. You take control of it every single day. You do the do. It makes your business grow. Guys, there's, you know, a difference between making $50 a week, $500 a week, $5,000 a week, or $50,000 a week. It's just, you do the same thing. You just do more of it. Right, you just do more of it. It's not, you know, like a corporate America job where um, you could go out and bang out the best projects, and if you're lucky, get a three percent raise at the year, at the end of the year. You know, it's because you work harder doesn't mean you're going to make more. You work harder because you have a passion to do what you're supposed to do. Right, take a passion to help people, um, and do it every single day, and have your own system. Right, Isogenics gives you the tools. Drew gives you the tools. Angela gives you the tools. Dunsky's gave you the tool. Dr. Arnie gives you the tools. All the tools are there. You just have to put them into play. You know, touch your business every single day. Right? Understand how this, this you know, Isogenics is making the most six and seven figure income earners because the compensation plan works. Compensation plan works because the products work. 
can I can I share something with you guys that blew my mind at NYKO last year? And this is from Jay Bennett, and I really, really want you all to see this. And if you can even take a screenshot of this, Drew, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So this is something that I had posted in Isogenics um, Business. Oh, shoot. Don't tell me I lost it. Okay. Here it is. If you were at NYKO, I know your mind has been blown and your heart is lit up. If you missed it, here's one of the most memorable presentations for me. Things that get me excited about our business and demonstrated so beautifully by Jay Bennett, 20 Star Platinum. Jay Bennett enrolled Jerry and Annie, who don't do the business at all, and share occasionally. They represent 80% of our customers, simple, happy customers. Jerry and Annie enroll Joe. Joe shares at his own pace and represents 15% of our company. People who make enough to get their products paid for and keep in the pockets of their life. Joe enrolled Paul and Suzanne Skillet. Who knows Paul and Suzanne? They worked hard and became our 115th millionaires. They represent 5% of the people who go all out and create that six and seven figure income. Now here's the beauty of Isogenics. Every dollar, every BV came up to Jay. If Jay had never shared this opportunity with Jerry and Annie, he would have never been introduced to the incredible Paul and Suzanne. It's like a distant relative winning the lotto, and yet you get every penny from their earnings simply because you are distant cousins. So many other companies cut you off after a few levels, but not Isogenics. Work with everyone because you never know who your next Paul and Suzanne are. In other companies, if a leader outranks you, you lose them, they break away from you, but not in our company. In Isogenics, you grow, I grow, we all grow together. Some of the most amazing leaders are three, five, eight levels down, and I thank God for them every day and the members in between that led them here to us. One thing that I have learned in this business is that you cannot make it alone. And this was the picture. Here's Jerry and Annie that Jay Bennett posted. Here's Joe, and Joe found Paul and Suzanne, and they are incredible rock stars in Australia. And this, when I saw this, and I'm gonna bump it up in Isogenics Business for all of you to see, that gave me chills. I mean, are you guys inspired by that? Is that absolutely freaking incredible? And that's exactly what Drew was talking about. Tom is someone five, six, eight levels underneath him. And every single person can make a difference in your business, in your income, to your family, for your kid's college fund. This is the beauty of Isogenics. Do you know how rare this is in the network marketing profession? I mean, this, this is mind-blowing. You, you've got to understand how incredible this is. Awesome, Angela. And, you know, one of the things Jay Bennett said that changed my whole life and perspective, he was being honored for something at uh, Celebration, and he called out to his wife in the audience, and uh, he said, see, babe, I've been doing, we've been doing this for 25 years, uh, and uh, he said, and it's starting to pay off. And everyone laughed, but I kind of heard the message, and then she said, it's about time. And I was like, whoa, this is a career. This is something that, uh, you know, it took the Cubs 100 years to win the World Series. It's going to take you a season to get good at this. It's going to get you a season to get great at this. And it's going to take you a lifetime to master. So go through those seasons as quick as you can. And, uh, and I'm going to pass the call to you to end us out as you see fit because my phone might die in mid-sentence. So hashtag Angela's awesome, hashtag I love Ed. And I'm going to stick around, but I'm going to let Ed uh, close us out. And hashtag we love you and thank you. And, you know, I, I know Angela when she was first starting it and, met, you know, got a lot of takeaways from you. Um, 
Guys, I, you know, I just want to reiterate that, you know, I truly believe that we are in a great place with a great company. Um, you know, Jim, I, Jimmy Smith's words every day, we're just getting started. <laughs> you know, no, no matter how far we go, how, how much we grow, we're just getting started. I truly believe that. Uh, we're a new company. I know Isogenics has a vision of, um, what is it, a, a, a million ISO blenders going off at the same time one morning. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that that's gonna happen. Um, you know, and just and just know you're in a good place. You know, use the tools you guys have, use the systems you guys have, use, you know, the support, the everything that you guys need to be successful is out there. Use it and, you know, just make it happen. You know, just, just do it, because it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. Um, you know, I told you uh, real quick, you know, I, he asked me earlier, you know, about my career. Um, I used to be a mortgage broker and in 2008, recession hit and I, I was jobless. And I took a uh, job in New York City with a uh, really small firm. We, uh, you know, $3 million was the most they ever did. And my second year there, if you mind this recession, I did a million dollars in revenue by myself. That year they paid me 48 thousand dollars so think about that right there were 70 percent of their revenue i contributed to they paid me forty eight thousand dollars in less than two years being with isogenics almost had a month that much so it's possible it's just all up to you yeah you know? and my, can you hear me? Not hear me. So you know, take it, run with it. You know, can I answer any questions or Drew for Angela? Thank you, Thank you. Ed. Thank you, Ed. Anyone have any questions for Ed or Drew? No. I'm no good, questions. just duplicate, duplicate. <laughs> duplicate, <laughs> learn and teach, learn and teach. Thank you guys, assignments will be posted shortly. Do you have any weekly product, uh, do you have any weekly product calls like how we do? I don't know what that means. We have, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure you know, what that means, but we have, uh, we call a cleanse group, you know, where we share, um, you know, testimonials and, and, and different products and recipes and keep each other motivated um, and support each other. Every off Facebook pages, we don't. Each person is assigned a coach. Each coach is responsible for walking them through the program. It's two shakes, two snacks, and a healthy meal. Our Facebook pages usually have the um, recipes in there. If anyone has any product questions, any um, health questions, we direct them to Dr. Ina. Um, yes. <laughs> you know, it's, it's fairly simple. Most of us, I, don't, I want everyone to have a great product experience, but you know, healthy mind and body is about the mindset. Isa body is about sticking with your goals. And, you know, put some water in it and shake it up. It's not that complex. Yeah. I don't want to be a, a cleanse coach and I'm not a medical doctor. We send them to Dr. Ina for stuff like that. Um, or isogenicshealth.net. Yeah, but we support them and we cheer them on and, you know, we, we have duplication calls. We have uh, system calls. Uh, product users miss out on the support like business users have not on our team each person does a fantastic job coaching their client that's our responsibility I why would a product user miss out on the support the person that they order from is responsible for helping them right and if that person is not helping them they would kind of go up the upline Usually the person who enrolls them takes responsibility for their success because here's the thing. If you don't have product success, you're not going to have business success. Yeah. Right? So if you're signing somebody up, you, you've got to take responsibility and make sure that they are being coached properly. I hope I'm answering that, um, your question. 
because then they only see the coach and no one else besides the Facebook coach. Uh, Samantha, can you unmute yourself? I don't see where she is. And I want to make sure that we properly answer your question. Hi, I'm here. Hello, Sam. What do you mean? Well, I'm actually Leanne. I'm on my mom's account, on my mom's oh. Zoom account. Okay, I'm sorry, Leanne. Okay, so because I've been thinking of doing a weekly just product Zoom for all my people instead of coaching them one on one, so then they feel like there's a lot more people and they're more supported instead of just me contacting them and, and coaching them individually. If that's what your heart is telling you to do, then you've got to go with your gut. If you know you you know what your people need. If we've done that before, we've done weekly product. Um, coaching calls. We honestly, we've tried everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you've got to try everything to figure out what works and and what doesn't work. But if you feel that your group would benefit from like a Sunday morning like product coaching call, yeah, absolutely, go for it. Because here's the thing: business builders won't just magically fall onto your lap. So if you feel passionate that giving somebody a great product experience and helping them link, link arms and putting them into this one weekly group, if you feel that that would help them have an awesome product experience, do it because that's what's going to um, encourage sharing. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. where my mind is at. Like if everybody sees like, wow, like I don't even have to do anything. I could share with my mom and I, I don't, have to know like what to tell her they could just put her in this group and i'll have leanne coaching her like i feel like it'll make people with like less pressure to share Absolutely. Well, what it's also going to do is it's going to let your team look at you uh in a leadership type of person and role and yeah. they're going to be more open to coming to you and asking you questions yeah you know, so so what's also super cool. to you for wanting to do this yeah, what, what else I love about that is that, you know what, you're creating a community for them. So let's say like in the big cleanse group, like maybe they won't come out and say, oh my God, I haven't pooped in three days. But if you exactly. have a small like Zoom call and everyone's like sharing and talking and hey, guess what? I make my ionics like a warm cup of tea and somebody else will be like, that's a great idea. Like make it an interactive call where they feel like a part of a community. I think that's yeah. a great idea. And I'm glad I asked because now I feel so much better because whenever I bring it up, they're like, no, people don't really engage in Zoom calls, do Facebook Live within the, with the, within the Facebook uh, product page. But I want, I want to be able to actually talk to them face to face. I don't want them to just listen to me talking and posting their comments, their questions in the comments. Like I want back and forth, like how we're doing right now. You know what, um, 13, uh, 13 blitzes ago, there was no blitz. And we just decided to try something where we would team people up and have them run together. Um, four and a half years ago, I had no team call. I literally bought first year in network marketing and read a chapter to them out of the book each week. Um, if your heart is calling to you to lead and support your people that way, do it. Every leader was once a, a beginner. You know, you, you spearhead it, pioneer it. And you know what? Try it for 90 days. If it works, keep up with it. Then maybe somebody else will co-host with it. And if it doesn't exactly. work, Because you know, honestly, I don't have a big team right now. Like, I, I'm a consultant. Yeah. I have... I have one consultant under me, like, but if you build it, they will come. If I keep doing yeah. these, these zoom calls for my product users, then more and more people are going to show up. Even if it's just me and my mom doing it together last week, <laughs> but yeah. then next week when I do it, it'll be more people. And then, yeah, so, and even if yeah. You help one you're going to be very successful in your isogenics business. Yeah, for sure. You're a great You're going to be very successful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Glad yeah. <laughs> good for you. Okay. Um, so if no one has any questions, let's call it a night. Assignment will be posted. We'll see you guys next week for week 11. We've got two weeks left. Rock it. End 2017 with a bang.
Good night.